All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, what I want you guys to do is create your own vehicle. So let's get going. All right, so for this video in particular, what I want you guys to do is to be as creative as possible. Think of vehicles that you know of and then go from there. Is it gonna be on land? Is it gonna be on water? Is it gonna be in the air? Those factors alone are gonna be the main decision of what your vehicle can essentially do. Or it could do all three, or maybe it could do one or two of them. Um, so you wanna think of that first, just in case. So um, for me, if it's gonna be on land, um, maybe you wanna do wheels or like kinda like uh, uh, the, the belt that like the tanks have. Or if it's in the air, maybe it needs like a, like a jet engine, maybe it needs like wings. Um, or if it's on water, maybe it needs like floaters or like some sort of like bottom area where it's nice and flat, covers a lot of area like a boat. So you wanna make sure you decide what kind of vehicle you want first. So once that's covered, then you can go from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my own vehicle. You guys can copy me or do your own and go from there. And you wanna make sure it has some sort of purpose and some character. Say for instance, um, art teacher boat or art teacher vehicle. What does that look like to you? Does it have like paintbrush holders on the steering wheel? Does it have like, I don't know, some crazy design on it that makes it stand out? So we obviously draw, drive like really interesting vehicles nowadays uh, that doesn't stand out in particular to tell you like what they do for a living. But in our case, when it comes to art, what I want you guys to do is draw a picture and give it some character so that way people know what the vehicle is used for and who it's for. So let's get going. So over here, I have a piece of paper. My preference for me is that my paper is horizontal. That way I can do it like that and we'll go from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to draw a vehicle of my choosing. Um, and I'm thinking I might do a land uh, vehicle because I do wanna do um, something on land. And the first thing that comes to mind is I don't want it to have four wheels in particular. I want it to have like maybe three or four. So what I'm gonna do is do my own choosing and go from there. I highly suggest you do this in pencil first, but it's up to you. So first thing I would do if I were you is draw the ground, that way you have somewhere to put the vehicle, and then go from the ground up. So for me, maybe I'll do my wheels first. So maybe my wheels would be a little purple. So I think my back wheels should be nice and big. I think I should have two big back wheels. And I think I should make the tires orange. I'm crazy like that. Orange tire, orange tire. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be really realistic or anything like that. I'm kind of just doing my own thing. And I highly suggest you guys do the same. Let me just draw the spokes of my vehicle. The problem with doing detailed spokes on one wheel, you kind of have to do it for all the wheels, I guess. So be very cautious and very careful of how much detail you put in your design. So now, since that's going to be one wheel, I guess I got to do it on the other wheel as well. So here's the circle. Kind of looks like an orange when you cut an orange up, now that I think about it. But that's the design I went with. All right, I'm not sure if that's the same amount, but it works. Let me create the treads on the wheel, make sure it doesn't touch the other one. All right, and that is the design of my other wheel. And for my other wheel, I think I'm gonna do maybe one with a belt, that'd be kind of cool. So why don't I go like this? Why don't I go like, there's a bolt right there, bolt right here, and then a bolt all the way down here. And then it kind of has like this belt traction thing going. So I'm gonna add, let's see, why don't I add heavy artillery like this? And it kind of like connects together like that. And it's kind of like, I don't know, metal of some sort <laughs> to make sure it works properly. And then the belt will look kind of like this. Kind of like, think of like a, a tank. All right, so now I got a, a means of how it moves. I guess I can start drawing the rest of the vehicle now. So let me draw the body of my vehicle. So maybe this would be where you would step up. So there is the step up incline or where you put your foot. And of course, my body of my vehicle would have that. I don't know what the back's gonna look like yet. Here is the front of the vehicle. 
I want to go real low, like this. All right, let's see what I can do from the back and the front. Maybe I want to add headlights and taillights. Um, let's do pink lights. That'd right, be pretty cool. One, two, in the front. Maybe I'll do an, uh, a headlight that looks like that, kind of. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Looks like Spider-Man, kind of. Let me finish the rest of my car's body here. That was like a snowmobile, kind of. It's not what I was going for, but it's pretty cool. Alright, I think it's time for me to do a windshield. Here's my windshield. Alright. I think I might make it into a pickup truck, so why don't I kind of like bring it down and over? Then maybe I'll add some crossbars to make it neat. That'd be pretty cool. I wonder how many of you guys are actually doing like an aircraft or like something that goes like in the water. I really want to know. Right, let me just finish my windows here. There's one of the windows. And I was going to do a square window, but now that I think about it, I never see cars that have like a round window, kind of like a bubble. Maybe I'll do that in my vehicle. Yeah, there you go. All right, my door need, my <laughs> car needs some way how to get in, so there's the handle. There is the hitch right there where it opens, the hinge, sorry, hinge, and there we are. All right, I guess I can start designing its extra accessories, I guess. Maybe I can do, everyone does this, I don't know why, but maybe I can add like cool claw marks maybe? Well, that'd be pretty sweet. Cool. All right, maybe something on the hood. Whoa, my car is so cool. All right, and then I'll just make sure that I tint my windows just by drawing a little bit of streaks so people understand that you can't quite see through it. I'll do the same thing on the windshield. It's kind of a way how to prevent this from drawing anything inside. <laughs> All right, so that's my vehicle. And obviously I could do more by shading it more. I think that's all I'll do right now, actually. But um, that's the video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys do good on your DIY vehicles, regardless if it's either on land, in the water, or in the air. And I hope you guys have a good one. See you guys later. Bye.